sectioned out all the sections and put rubber bands at the end of them. Um, so I'm just going to start braiding. I used this gel. I'll link it in the description box. Um, it's my favorite gel we used in my hair. And I put some some of this in there before I decided to section it and sprayed it with a little aloe vera, aloe vera um, water spray. The big thing you get from Walmart, just like pure aloe vera juice. Aloe vera juice. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna start braiding it and then I'll tap back in to show you guys like my progress. Um, and then in the front, I'll do a little bit of a demonstration. So. As you can see um, from the sections earlier, I put the pon I put my hair in little ponytails and I sectioned the braiding hair out into two sections and used the smallest section to pull through with the crochet hook. Then I used the gel to smooth down the ends of my hair while I'm braiding. Then I attached the second piece of hair and then I braid it like I would normally braid um, a <laughs> box braid. <laughs> Sorry. And then this is just me securing the end with a knot. Um, and then after that, I finished up the braids and sprayed my scalp with a little avocado oil just to help with the tension and moisturizing my scalp because even though your hair is braided doesn't mean you should ignore it Now you see me trimming the ends of the braids just so that I don't have a bunch of stray ends. And now I'm braiding them into bigger braids. Um, so that they can be a little crinkly at the ends. I'm not braiding them super tight. And then um, I boiled a pot of water and dipped the hair in the hot water. This is how it looked the next day after I let the hair dry in the braids overnight. Um, thank you, like, and subscribe.